Okay. Uh, this question was asked in K two thousand five. It is given that R one equal to R two equal to R four. That means these three resistances is equal to R, and R three is one point one R. We are asked to find out the reading of the ideal voltmeter connected between A and B. In short, we are asked to find out what is V A B. Okay. Now. Since the voltmeter is ideal, we can assume that there is no current flowing from A to B or from B to A. Okay, this is because an ideal ideal voltmeter has infinite resistance and it does not carry any current. Now we are going to draw the equivalent circuit considering this into account. Now we have a ten volt source here. Okay, now we'll consider the first part. That means we have R one here. And R two here. This is R one, and this is R two. Now we assume this point as ground, and we find out what is this voltage V A. Because this combination is in parallel, and no current flows in this direction, we can take that ten volt appears across R one and R two, or we can find out what is the voltage V A. Now V A is R one equal to R, and R two equal to R. V A is nothing but Ten by two, that is five volts. So how we get it is ten by R one plus R two, that is two R into R two, that is R. That will give us five volts. So we have found out what is V A. Now similarly, we can find out what is V B. We have ten volts here. R four. Is equal to R, and here we have R three, which is one point one R. Okay, now we have, can find out what is V B. V B is we have ten volts divided by the total current that is R plus one point one R. Sorry, total resistance that is R plus one point one R. We got the current into R three. Which is one point one R. There is ten by two point one R into one point one R. That is that is five point two three eight volts. Okay, we have got what is V A and What is V B? Now we have to find out V A B. There is V A minus V B. There is five minus five point two three eight. There is minus zero point two three eight volts.